Hey guys, we're back with the latest scoop. Samsung is working hard on world's slimmest flip phone with a 120Hz refresh rate. Along with that, the world's first foldable smartphone with the under display camera and the official sport for S Pen. Despite having these amazing features, Samsung could be incredibly generous when it comes to the price, not just for these, but also for the upcoming Galaxy S21 FE. We'll be taking a look at all that, but first, let's talk about the state of under display camera that could make the next Galaxy Note 2022 lineup special. So in the previous video, we discussed how the Galaxy S22 lineup could potentially miss on the under display camera as Samsung isn't satisfied or confident with the mass production yield and the result of the image quality. Now we got some more information on why this could happen. According to Ross Young, the current under display camera that Samsung will be using on the Fold 3 has no transparent cathode region, which means it's going to have that visible mosaic pattern in certain situations. So the next gen under display camera with transparent cathode region is expected to happen in the second half of 2022, which means it's right around the timeline for the next Galaxy Note lineup, which by the way will come, according to the famous words of DJ Ko, the Note series will come back perhaps the last time. So a true next gen under display camera could make the Note series stand out compared to the Galaxy S22 lineup. Unlike the Galaxy Z Fold, 3, Samsung cannot take any risk when it comes to the front camera of the S22 lineup because all three cameras of the Fold 3 can be used as selfie sensors whereas the S22 series will have just one front camera and that has to be on the absolute good level. The quality has to absolutely match the selfie performance of the current S21 Ultra's front camera and if that doesn't happen then Samsung will absolutely delay it till they do it right with the Note series. Samsung recently said that the stretchable display is the next big thing after the foldable smartphones. They also trademark words like Galaxy Roll and Galaxy Slide, but this could actually take some time and it might not match the launch timing. So a full next-gen transparent under display camera setup has to happen and if it doesn't happen in the S22 lineup then it makes all the sense for the Note series to come out with the under display camera. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Also in the news, Samsung is becoming super super generous. Literally all of their upcoming devices including the S21 FE, Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3 all are rumored to be cheaper. Starting with the Galaxy S21 FE, it could be about $80 to $100 cheaper than the last year's S20 FE. That is indeed a huge price reduction. And by the way, what you're looking at right now are the official final colors of the S21 FE lineup courtesy of Evleek. So once again, Samsung is providing variety of colors. As for the Z Flip 3 and the Fold 3, Samsung could make them about 20% cheaper than the previous lineup, which is actually pretty hard to believe, but it's coming via Sam Mobile. Based on what they've reported, it's actually a significant price reduction compared to Samsung's previous generations. I really hope that it's true. Now, lastly, we'll be taking a look at the front renders of the Z Flip 3. This is something that we have not seen in the leaked official trailer images. These are renders from Ice Universe, and you can see the bezels are super slim. It's also going to be the first flip smartphone to have a 120Hz refresh rate. So that's all the latest news. The next-gen UDC makes perfect sense for the next Galaxy Note lineup. If the S22 lineup doesn't come with UDC, will that bother you? Or will you wait for the Node lineup? Drop your comments and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.